Are you looking for a way to make some extra money at home? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use your Cricut machine to make some extra cash in a fun and creative way. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I have been a stay-at-home entrepreneur ever since my first daughter was born in 2009, and I would not change that for the world. I love the flexibility that I have to spend more time with my family, and that means so much to me. I love working from home, and I know that some of you do that right now or would love to do that too. So how does the Cricut come into play? You can make so many things with the Cricut machine and sell them online. I have found the hottest things to make and sell this year, so I'm gonna share all those things with with you so that you'll be successful and make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm also going to share my best tips on how to make your Cricut business successful. Let's get started. Hottest item number one are stickers. I was actually pretty surprised by this. I know that stickers have been popular over the past few years, but they are still gaining momentum. They're still so popular. Lots of people make stickers with their Cricut machines. You can use what's called the print then cut feature. So essentially you can import images into Cricut's program called Design Space. There's an app for it. There's a computer program for it. Save them as a print then cut image. And then Cricut will walk you through how to print them on your inkjet printer, on your desktop printer, and then Cricut can cut them out. Many people make stickers from their very own artwork, which I think is a really great thing to do if you are a digital artist. If not, no worries. You can go to a place like Creative Market. I will link that down in the description box below where artists upload their own art to sell on there for you to use. What you need to know when you are selling things made with your Cricut, make sure that you have the commercial rights or the sellable rights for all of the images that you use. And my favorite way to do this is to purchase the images from Creative Market, not very expensive. Have a look at the usage rights when you're purchasing. I usually just buy the commercial usage rights. It'll tell you how many things you can make with that image to sell and then therefore make a profit. So if you go to Creative Market, you can search for an image like stickers, buy your favorite ones, and then you can import those images into Cricut by using the upload feature on the left-hand side. So I just upload PNG file type images, and then I save them as a print then cut image in Design Space. Then I can make stickers with them, I can sell the stickers, and I don't have to worry about any copyright infringements, which is so important as fellow artists. Waterproof stickers are very popular this year. So how I do this is I just use a piece of clear vinyl and I apply that to my stickers after I've printed them and then I cut them after that. So I use the cardstock cutting feature on my Cricut Explorer or my Cricut Maker and then they cut all the way through. They're waterproof, they're shiny, and they look so cute. So stickers, which designs are popular for stickers this year? Number one, anything boho style. So anything with sort of that 70s spin, plants, succulents, macrame, 70s colors like burnt oranges, yellows, peaches, planner stickers. So anything you could use for a planner with words on it, with little icons on it, or maybe a bullet journal. Cute kawaii inspired pictures, uh, little animals, foods with eyes, cute things like that. That's really popular for stickers this year. And seasonal images. So maybe you're going to make a Christmas collection of stickers. Perhaps it's going to be Easter, spring, summer, etc. Second hottest item to make and sell using your Cricut this year are mugs. I was also surprised by this one. I feel like lots of people have lots of mugs already, but apparently not yet. And how I'm finding all of this is I found a fantastic blog post listing all of the most popular things that are selling on Etsy right now, which is pretty much the biggest online handmade marketplace. And then I also looked at Pinterest to see what was trending there. I like to look to Pinterest to see what's trending in home decor and crafts like this. People love clever sayings on mugs or beautiful designs. I like to make mugs with either Cricut's permanent vinyl or really any of your favorite permanent vinyl. Just make sure your customers know to wash that mug in the top rack of their dishwasher or hand wash. I've had pretty good success with this or Cricut has their mug press and their infusible ink, which is another great way to make the mugs. I find this though more expensive to make them, right? So you don't have as much of a profit. However, I feel like the finished product looks a bit more professional because the design looks like it's built right into the mug. So it looks a little bit more high-end. Which mug designs are popular right now? Again, boho 70s designs, same as the stickers. 
Floral designs are also really popular. Lots of botanicals I'm seeing. And then of course, cheeky sayings. So anything sarcastic, cute, funny. If you're going to be venturing into the Cricut business, you might want to offer some personalized mugs. So with people's names on them and monograms, people seem to really love that as well. Third most popular thing to make and sell with Cricut this year is decals or if you live anywhere but Western Canada, like where I live, you will say decals, I say decals, I am not gonna change it, but that's how we say it here in Western Canada. Those stickers that you can put on your wall or your vehicle or really anywhere. People are still looking for decals to use either for art on their walls or for home organization or maybe even you know to put in their car windows. Creating decals and labels is pretty much my favorite thing to do with my Cricut machine. That is why I got one back in 2016. And the majority of what I do right now is creating decals and labels. Which types of decals are popular right now? Wall art, so very simple, plain, large arches are very popular. Graphic elements like circles, rainbows. I'm seeing lots of floral or graphic sort of images for tumblers or mugs. So people are making the decals with their Cricut and just selling them as that. And then the customer applies it themselves to the object. Monogram decals for the same purpose, whether people are applying it to a t-shirt, you make it with iron-on transfer material, or maybe they're applying it to their own mug or tumbler. And then people are still buying tons of organization labels for the kitchen. So perhaps you're going to put together some sort of collection for fridge labels, pantry labels, or anything like that. The fourth most popular item to make with your Cricut and sell is wall decor, any type of wall decor. And this sort of ties into the decals trend as well. So we're seeing those large arch shapes for walls. We're seeing the smaller floral decals people are putting on walls. Do you remember the live, laugh, love decals? that were popular uh, probably about 10, 15 years ago. We're not seeing that so much anymore. We're just seeing more graphic and subtle designs, more shapes and less words. We're still seeing some wooden signs as wall art. You can create stencils with your Cricut machine and then use paint and make wood signs that way. But I'm seeing maybe just more custom things. So people wanting to put together a sign for their family name, uh, birth dates, maybe even something about their house when it was established. So offering some sort of custom sign creation would be a really great move, I think, for a Cricut business. If you wanna venture into those larger decals for the wall, the big arches that we're seeing, I would recommend going with either the Cricut Explore 3 or the Maker 3 because they use the smart material, which comes in those longer lengths, so you can make larger decals a lot easier. So that would be a great application for wall art. The fifth most popular item to make and sell with Cricut this year is t-shirts. Can't get enough of t-shirts. People still love buying t-shirts, especially if they are unique. So they have a really cute little saying on them. Maybe if they're super custom, they can order something custom for themselves or their family, or they just are a beautiful image. Custom t-shirts seem to sell well, so think about maybe a matching t-shirt set for a family going to Disneyland. Maybe it has their last name on it, some Disney images on it. Maybe it's a Christmas set for a family, pajama tops, things like that. Creating that custom listing again is gonna be really helpful for you, I think. I like using either Cricut's iron-on vinyl or the infusible ink for t-shirts. Again, same as the mugs, infusible ink has what I think is a more high-end look to it, but it is more expensive to produce. Whereas the vinyl, cheaper to produce, and if you use like the Cricut Easy Press or a t-shirt press to really fuse that onto the fabric, you can create something that's really long lasting and washable. Which kind of t-shirt designs are popular right now, this year, number one, we're still seeing that boho 70s inspired designs. Suns, moons, stars, plants, succulents, macrame, all of those sorts of 70s images. Also seeing lots of botanicals. So I love this trend because I love botanicals, flowers. I found this beautiful flower image off of Creative Market and purchased it and made it into this cute little homebody t-shirt. I think it turned out so cute. I love it so much. I actually created them in my merch shop. So check them out down in the description box below. Cheeky or inspirational sayings on t-shirts, also still a hit. Think of something maybe unique to you or unique to your community that you could put on a t-shirt that would be really cute or funny. And location inspired t-shirts are also hot right now. So, you know, a name of a city on a t-shirt or maybe mountains or geographical locations and things like that. Now that you know the hottest things to make and sell with your Cricut, that research is done for you. 
How do you successfully sell your products online? I had a successful baby clothing business. I sold baby clothing that I made myself on Etsy and on my own website for quite a few years. And so these are all the things that I learned that I wanna share with you. Number one, it's really important to create a brand before you sell. And by that, I mean create a logo, colors that you're consistently using, fonts you're consistently using, a tone of voice that you're using on social media, on your site, on your Etsy page, etc. And I think creating this will really help solidify your brand and also make your brand look a lot more professional before you even start selling. The second thing that's really important that I would recommend is put a lot of thought, time, and even some investment money into beautiful photos of your product. So it doesn't matter if you have the most beautiful looking t-shirt or mug or stickers or whatever, if you take poorly lit photos, poorly composed photos, badly edited photos, nobody is going to understand the beauty of your item, right? So take the time to learn how to edit photos, learn how to take photos. Beautiful photos can be taken with an iPhone, or maybe you might wanna hire that out. Thirdly, be active on social media. Social media can be the number one way that people connect with people that could be potential customers. I've seen a lot of small businesses go viral on TikTok over the last couple years because they shared some interesting behind the scenes short video, or maybe they shared something personal or they shared their product or a before and after. Look into what's trending on social media and see how you could maybe use that trend and turn it around into matching your product. Creating relationships with people that are current clients or potential clients is very important and social media makes that easy for you to do and connect with people all around the world. The fourth thing that is truly the most important thing when you wanna sell your creations online is to be uniquely you. I know there's quite a few people that do make things with their crickets and sell them. I understand that there's quite a few things, but there's only one you. And you have a unique perspective, you have a unique style, you have a unique story to tell. And if there's a way that you can weave that unique style and story and personality into your products, that's truly gonna help you stand out. So maybe there's colors that you always use over and over again in your products. Maybe you have a really amazing illustration style and you're going to make some print and cut stickers with that. Maybe you have just an incredible background story or a current story that you wanna share that's personal that you can weave into your products. All of those things will truly make you stand out from the rest of the people selling similar items and cause people to be really interested in you and what you have to sell. So there you have it, the most popular items to sell this year that you can make with your Cricut and my suggestions on how to sell online. If you want to learn more about the Cricut, if you wanna learn more about design space, how to use it, I have videos on all of that. I will link them down in the description box below. I would also love to know in the comments if you have your own handmade business, whether it's with the Cricut or not, let me know. I would love to check out what you sell or if you're thinking of starting one, let me know that too because I would love to cheer you on. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next, right up here.